What's going on, everybody? I am back with a new video. This video is not going to be too long. I just want to start something new, weekly thing. I want to do, you know, my top four songs of the week. You know, um, it's a new year, man. R&B music is off to a good start. I'm loving it. I'm loving where we're going with it. Last year was actually okay. But this year, we're starting off right. There's four joints that I want to talk about that I definitely want y'all to support. Um, the first one, y'all see I came in with my boy Mac Wiles with Love in the 90s. I love that record. It's so smooth. It gives you that 90s feel. This is actually what Mac Wiles is about. If you don't know about Mac Wiles, first he was a move, he was in The Wire. And then after that, he was in The Secret Life of the Bees with Alicia Keys, Jennifer Hudson, Queen Latifah. And then a lot of y'all now might know him from the Adele video. The Adele video, hello. He is actually the love interest in the video. But Mac Wiles, I was introduced to him, his music, from on YouTube one day. And um, actually, I heard Own It. And I thought the joint was so dope. I was like, yo, who is this guy? And they was like, it was Mac Wise. Now, I didn't know Mac Wise. I knew him as Tristan. So I was like, oh, this is who this is. Okay, cool. So I went and brought uh, New York a love story. That I was so dope. Like, he used a lot of the 90s throwback joints. Um, it had that New York feel. Like, the Hennessy joint, he used the Mob Deep beat. Um, uh, on it, he used, of course, Eric B. and Rakim. We, of course, using uh, the uh, Funky President by Jay Brown, of course. I think everybody uses that beat. Um, he even used the, uh, the Jay-Z uh, on the Dynasty record with me, him, and her, with him, uh, Memphis Bleak, uh, what's his name, uh, Beanie Siegel, and Amelia. That record, I never knew nobody could actually use that, re use that record and use it right. And I thought it was dope. He had so many producers on there that was backing him. DJ Premier, Pete Rock, Mob Deep, uh, Salam Remy. That's who, that's his boy right there. Salam Remy actually produced this joint, Love in the 90s, which is a dope record. Y'all check it out. Support him. He just did the joint, the breaks on VH1, about 90. So this is his lane, which I think is so dope. So y'all cop this joint. Yeah. Well, since he went that way, since he was talking about TLC, I have to talk about my, the next record is my favorite 90s R&B group, my girl SWV with MCE. It's so smooth. I'm so happy my girls is back. Yo, they're back with a new album still that's coming out in February. Y'all definitely support them. SWV, they're classic. They're a classic group. They're the only 90s girls that's actually out still doing it right now. Um, their last album, I Missed Us, I loved it. Cold Sign was dope. Uh, Love, uh, Love Unconditionally was dope. They stayed, they learned that album was so underrated. It did get the promo that it should. And then with that, they got their show, SWV Reignited, which sadly got canceled, but it showed the ups and downs of the group and each of their personalities, and I enjoyed it, and I thought that it was going to be able to, you know, We TV was going to keep it, because we could see them in the studio making their, you know, they ragged, which, you know, their first single, Ain't No Man, we saw them making that, so it made you feel closer to them, like you were in the studio with it being made, so I wanted the show to stay, but it didn't, but... I still love this record. It's just so smooth. They use the Anita Baker, Sweet Love, and Janet, uh, Funny How Time Fire kind of, you know, vibe going on. It's a great record. Y'all go support my girls, SWV. Um, they I'm come out still. Check them out. I love the record. I'm so happy for them. Like I said, they the only 90s girls out there doing it. You know, we don't have Invo. We don't have Escape anymore. We don't, you know, TLC, you know, they still rocking and still torn, but we haven't gotten any new music from them. So SWV is doing it. So give y'all a little sample of... It still got that SWV bounce, 
You know what I'm saying? They still got, and they still remain in current, but they also stand in that category. They, they lame. They not trying to be 20 year old, 20 years old, like when they came out with It's About Time, with songs like Downtown. It's cool, but now they, they mellow with it, which that's how I missed us was. So hopefully, who, you know, they label can back them and really push this album, because they two for two for me. I like Ain't No Other Man, and then I like uh, Man Crush Every Day. I think it's dope. So check out SWV. Go pre-order the album right now. Go and pre-order still. Let's support SWV. Let's show them that they making good music, and they should definitely be, you know, they should definitely get their respect for that. The next joint, my next, my girl that killed it at the Soul Train Awards, singing Superwoman for the Babyface tribute. I know she got a lot of flat because everybody wanted Karen White to do it, but Karen wasn't asked. They asked Fantasia, and she brought it. Fantasia really reminds me of a little Shirley Caesar and Patti LaBelle put together. A lot of people don't agree with me, but I really feel like she do. Like, if y'all don't know, Shirley Caesar used to be all over the floor, too. If you watch her 1990 live album, I know my grandma's loving this plug because I'm talking about gospel music. And, um... You know, she um she was all over the with Hold the Mew and she did a lot of that and Fantasia gives me that vibe because Fantasia is just so anointed. Her voice is so anointed. But, you know, with this time around again, she's telling us that she's giving us that rock soul, which I was a little hurt when she brought out the side effects of you because I thought that with that first single that she was giving us, it was like, okay, I can give you got that 80s kind of pop, uh, how you say it, pop, rock, itinerary, artener am I saying it right? Hopefully I'm, I am saying it right. But yeah, so she was giving you that vibe, and I was just like, um, okay. And then the next, the second single was Without Me. So I'm like, wait a minute, where's the rock soul? Like, but then when you got the album, you heard like maybe four or five of them. And I was like, okay. And then it was just like, after then, there was no more. It was just like, what happened? So now, you know, she went on tour with the record and, you know, um, the live performances. It's like, when you go to a Fantasia concert, you're going to a gospel concert. That's why I would love her and uh, Anthony Hamilton to actually do like a tour together. I will give all my church money. But anyway... Her new song, No Time For It, I love it. A lot of people don't like it because they said it's so simple, but I see what she's doing. I love it, y'all. I think I know what she's doing. This is trying to cross over. That first single, I get it. I get it because it seems like record labels can't promote soul and so don't have a big budget. But when you got Adele and Sam Smith and all these other artists that's crossing over from pop to R&B and they're getting played on R&B radio, but our R&B artists don't have that kind of budget. So I get it. I get Fantasia trying to make Top 40 Radio, which this song, I think she can get on Top 40 Radio. But we have to promote it. So I know that probably the second single, Fantasia's going to give us some singing, and that's what we want. But this, Fantasia still got it in at the end, y'all. She gave us a little throat at the end. So support this. Go out and buy this single. No time for it, Fantasia. Go cop it, y'all. I love it, and I think you will love it, too. It got that smooth little bounce for it. And it's very catchy. Hey. Now, the next one, I'm going to have to shut the music off for this because I don't know who Brandy thought she was, but she brought the oil, the cooking oil, the vegetable oil, all the Pam spray. Spraying the pot, all that good stuff on this record. Now, Brandy, you know, I loved her album 211. A lot of people didn't like it, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good album, but I think with the label, which is RCA, like I said, they don't know how to really support R&B artists, and it sucks because we had a lot of great albums that's not getting 
the budget and the respect that it should, like I said, Jasmine Sullivan. But that's another thing. Since we're going to talk about some singers, I had to throw Jasmine in there. But Brandy, you know, her 211 album was dope. You know, it didn't sell as much, but I enjoyed it. Brandy stepped out of her comfort zone. She started dancing a lot more and things like that, but people wasn't really feeling it like that, and people didn't buy it. And I think... The record label didn't promote it right, and then Brandy get, didn't give it so much promotion because then she went to the game. But she has a new show called Zoe After at, at Ever After, and um, the show I think is cool. I think I like where Brandy's going right now. She's trying to get into acting, but she's also trying to give us a little music. So after the show was over, I got a notification on Brandy because I am subscribing to her Forever Brandy page, and. There's a new song. Now, when I first thought of the song, I really thought that she was giving us the full, like, theme song. But when I saw it, I said, now, wait a minute. Now, that shouldn't be the cover of it because, but y'all, let me tell you, Brandy really gave you the catfish grease and the chicken grease and the bacon grease all on this record. I'm telling y'all. Hold on. I'm going to give y'all to you. Yo, let me tell you something. I actually thought when I heard this joint that Jasmine Sullivan wrote it. Because I was like, it sounds like a Jasmine Sullivan type of record. But it wasn't. And let me tell you something. Brandy, when I heard this, I literally got in my freezer. I went in my freezer and started putting, pudding. if y'all know, you know, if y'all, some Southern people, y'all know about pudding. I put my pudding in the oven and I made me some eggs. Because I said, Brandy, and then I added me some grits. Because I said, Brandy did some backwoods singing on this record. Them vocal runs, and it's that bluesy vibe. I said, Brandy, she needs to put this on iTunes. When I woke up, I thought it was going to be on iTunes. But it's not. Brandy, put this song on iTunes, please. We need this on iTunes. The fire is hot. Everybody is talking about it. It is my favorite song right now, two weeks into... January. This is literally my favorite record right now. You did it. I need this on iTunes so I can have it. I want this song to sell. I'm telling you, this is an R&B banger right here. So, Brandy, please do it. Give you that. Oh! Yes. Y'all, please go support R&B, man. I want R&B to have a big splash this year. Because I remember, like, in the 90s, where R&B used to came, and it used to cross over to top, you know, top 40 radio. Even, you know, hip-hop stations was playing R&B records that were really R&B records. Like, back in the 90s, I remember when Kenny Lattimore and Tamia and, and, and Kelly Price and all these, you know, people that don't get played on you know, hip-hop radio now, yo, they used to get played on Hot 97. They used to get tweet. We used to get played on Power 105. Like, songs that were soulful were still getting played on mainstream hip-hop radio. So, y'all, go support these joints. Go support Mac Wilds with Love in the 90s. Go support SWV, MCE, um, Man Everyday Crush. Go, um... Go support Fantasia's No Time For It. Go support Brandy Beg and Pleaded. Hey, if we got to keep going to her sound card for her to get these hits, please support these records, y'all. I want R&B to really, really shine this year. And it wouldn't be me if I didn't bring y'all any soul. You know, I started it with kind of the new school. Now I want to make y'all a little bit of the old school. So, you know what I did? Um, I went back. And I knew a couple, I had these records. But I tried to see what songs were popping in January of the year. So I went back to 1969, and guess what somebody brought out? Oh, 
Oh, shit! Give it up! Hey! Funky! Ha! Brother James Brown, the godfather of soul, brought out Give It Up, Turn It Loose in January of 1969. He was saying, I'm not playing, and he brought the funk. Like, that song is dope. Classic, 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 classic record. The next record, today is actually the anniversary, the 35th anniversary of this record being released. Now, I don't never pronounce their they names right, but I'm going to try to get it right on this. Their names are Yachty and the Peoples, and their song, Don't Stop the Music. Now, that song is a classic 80s record, and if you don't play that, you tripping. So many people sampled this record, y'all. But ha, yo, that is a classic. That will get anybody on the floor. But like I said, 35 years ago, this song was released. And see, come on, 81 R&B started in the right way, man. Give you that groove, man. Even though club and it was after disco, but it still gave you that club and still gave you that disco feel. You were still rocking to it. Ha! Hey! I love this record. Love this record. Now, the last record I'm going to give is actually, this song was released in 1990 in January. And then actually, I call her my cousin because we have the same last name. And I think y'all are going to know it once it hits. Been around the world and I, 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 I can't find my baby. I don't know where I don't know. My cousin Lisa Stanfield went all around the world. Love that song. Yo, these are some classic joints I just gave y'all. Y'all can't tell me James Brown, um, uh, Ayati and the People, and Lisa Stanfield. All those was classic. But in this video, I want y'all definitely to support. Like I said, Mac Wilds were loving the '90s. SWV with MCE, every crush, man crush every day, Fantasia, no time for it, and Brandy's begging and pleading. And hey, if you want to go back and listen to a couple of classic joints, go listen to James Brown, Give It Up, Turn It Loose. Go listen to Lisa Stansfield, Ben, Around the World, and go listen to y'all. These other people don't stop the music. We don't want to stop R&B, and we want it to keep shining, y'all. So on that net, I'm a dancing on out. Peace, y'all.